Good morning. It's Monday. It's June something. June, let's say it's the 13th. I'm not 100% sure. It's about 10.30. I have just finished getting, what am I looking for? Um, I have just finished waking up, taking Riley out, making the bed, getting dressed, and I just refreshed my hair. I don't know if refresh is the right word, but um, just sprayed it with, let's see if you guys get that on there. Oh God. <laughs> sprayed it with a water and conditioner mix um, because like I said, it's just gonna be a lot of wash and go throughout the summer. Last week I did it, but my hair turned into something else. Like I, I didn't quite have it right. So um, what I realized is, is when I was first doing the wash and go way back when I first started just wearing my hair out naturally, I would spray with a mix of conditioner. Where's that conditioner that I use? I would spray with a mix of warm water and this conditioner that I just got from Target called Blueberry Bliss from Curls. And I would spray it using one of these bottles. But then I would also put another product in it to kind of elongate the curls. And so when I did the wash and go last week, I didn't put that additional product in it. And I think that's why it just like shriveled up on itself and started doing crazy things. So I threw it up last week and pretty much kept it up as you saw. Not to say that I won't put it up later today or later this week because it is hot and it just keeps me cooler. But right now I'm in the process of just experimenting with new product so over the weekend i went to target because i think that product that i put in i threw it away for some reason because i was probably in some cleaning frenzy and i just tossed it because i hadn't used it so i went and picked this up i've never used this before but i've obviously seen it it's the Cantu Shea Butter Coconut Curling Cream for natural curls, coils, and waves it says it defines softens and moisturizes so I just, oh, no drying alcohol, no silicone, no sulfates. I just sprayed my hair, or put my hair in four sections, sprayed each section with this mixture of water and conditioner, and then after I did that, I would apply this to it, and now it's drying. So we're gonna see how it dries. We're gonna see if the curls stay defined. If you see some white in my hair, it's the product. Also, if you see some white residue of my forehead or my hairline up here, it's because I don't know if it's eczema up there. I, there's something that's happening right here on my forehead. I could have hit my head there <laughs> because I'm clumsy and it's not healing. But I do remember during the school year, I would wear headbands every now and then and this would just hurt. Maybe it's just friction from the headbands. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to let that hairline breathe for the next several days so that I can heal up. And that's all that you've missed. Aside from that, over the weekend, I went to Ulta yesterday. I refilled on some product that I needed thanks to a gift card from a student. So um, in case you don't remember, in case you didn't know, when I do my twist outs and when I wash my hair in general, I've been using the pattern products for probably a little over a year now. The, um, what did I buy yesterday? The regular shampoo. No, the shampoo is in a white bottle and I think it's the same one that says for tight textures. So I use the shampoo. I had plenty of that so I didn't replace it. I use the conditioner. That is the intensive conditioner for tight textures. I use the leave-in conditioner for, more so for the twist out portion of things. And then I added this a few months ago. It's a treatment mask that is meant to define your curls and elongate them. This is a recent addition. I've probably been using this for about six months. I think it think I think it makes things better, but um, that's what I use. All pattern products. I basically wash my hair with the shampoo, put the conditioner on, the regular conditioner. Then I put this on while I'm in the shower. I wrap my hair up with the hot towel. I shower, wash my face and all that and let that sit on there for 10 minutes. Rinse all that out. Then when I finish, I put in the leave-in conditioner, comb that through and let that stay in my hair. And then I get the uh, twist out cream and gel to set the twist out. Not that you asked for what I did with my hair, but there it is. So I did that yesterday and um, I also got some new bands for my watch from Amazon with the gift card from a student. I had been eyeing these for a while. So it comes in some like spring light -like colors. These are my Amazon shop. I just put them yesterday. Put them, put the link there yesterday. 
because I do know over the course of the year, people have asked me where do I get the bands. These, I've never gotten this particular style before, but I like it. This is kind of like a baby blue. This is an orange one, pink. I have something similar to that, and then another red one. So, that is it. My top three for today is I need to drop off reimbursement paperwork at the district office. I need to pick up some things for my classroom. And I'm going to pick up, hopefully today, a new jean jacket that I bought from Ann Taylor Loft with yet another gift card. So, that's what the plan is. I'm going to take care of those at some point today, but I'm really just here to say good morning. Also, thank you. I've been skimming through the comments on the video that went up yesterday. Thank you for all the well wishes with the student loan payments. Hopefully those of you that didn't know about the program or haven't applied, that you make use of the link I provided. Make sure you remember that you have until October the 31st. And if you're a public service worker, you are eligible. You don't have to be a teacher. It's state, federal, um, nonprofit public service employees that are eligible. So that's all I have to say right now. I'm gonna try and get a few things done around the house and I will talk to you okay, later. Just like change of plans. I don't know if you can also tell, I think my curl definition is holding up. Um, I thought I was gonna go to Ann Taylor Loft to pick up this jean jacket that I ordered online last night. But then I just got an email saying that it was no longer available in the store. And at first I thought it said in the store and online, which sent me into a minor panic because I really wanted this jean jacket. But I went online, it is available online, so I just ordered it through there. But I'm still gonna go to Ann Taylor Loft because I wanna see what they have. They're having a sale right now. And I wanna use this gift card but I can't use the gift card online. So I'm gonna, and there's a couple things I was gonna get, but I don't know if they'll fit correctly because they're bottoms and sometimes that's a little tricky, although Ann Taylor Loft is pretty true to size for me. So the plan is, I really am liking having my top three. It makes me feel like I'm getting things done and not just meandering about in life, is I'm going to go to the mall and then I have to stop at the district office um, to drop off the paperwork for my reimbursement. And then I need to stop at Target because I also got some things from, you guys are gonna sit there, from Tabitha Brown. I didn't know she had a collection at Target, but she does. Someone on Instagram told me that and I don't, I think that person follows me on YouTube. So thank you. Um, I'm gonna return a couple things because they just, they, they weren't doing me any favors. I did keep one thing, so I'm returning this dress. It's like a floral dress that comes about knee length knee length knee length sorry i'm not doing a great job showing it have to adjust not having my ipad in the car and then this jumpsuit i'm gonna return i liked it um but it's a little too like thick for me and i didn't like it enough like i didn't like it enough so i'm returning that um but i am keeping a skirt that matches this polka dotted top i'm returning the top because I'm a, the top is kind of like a midriff I could not wear this to work and that's really what I was looking for so I'm gonna go to Target and return those things and come on because I also have a meeting at 2 o'clock today that I might have forgotten I didn't forget about it but I have to keep reminding myself of that so that's it I have a meeting at 2 o'clock also with Taina and teach with love we have some exciting news. Megan from Too Cool for Middle School is joining Teach with Love, and we believe that we'll be doing a trip of sorts to Egypt in 2023. So, anyway, let me go. Well, Talk soon. It's moments like these where I really fear that I'm getting really old. I'm in my classroom <laughs> because I needed to pick up some things, but I literally almost forgot that I needed to pick up these things. But I'm so glad I remembered, but I'm also just disturbed by the mess that is in my classroom this quickly. Um, there's refrigerators, there's cabinetry in here that doesn't belong to me because I think they stripped the floors in the pot area. I'm not even gonna go over there to look. Um, yeah, I think they stripped the floors in the pot area and it looks like for some reason, I just think it's strange. It looks like they put carpet underneath the sink yeah hold on 
yeah, they've added, they've added carpet here, which to me is weird. That seems like it should have stayed tile, but what do I know? I'm just here to pick up some books and then I am promptly leaving. Um, so yeah, let me get that done. All right, I got the books I needed. Also a new addition to my classroom, this new phone here, which is great. I mean, it's better than the phone I had, but now the stress is, will it fit on that wall? And there's a random hat on my desk. I, yeah, so anyway, I'm not gonna worry about all this stuff right now. I got the books that I need. I needed to get this binder here. Um, culturally and li linguistically responsive teaching and learning because I will be going to a conference based on that and we're gonna need the binder, I would assume. I also needed to pick up the book that goes with it. And then I also picked up some history books because I need to do a little bit of history research to, you know, stay on top of things, stay sharp. So now I'm going to the district office. I've successfully ran on my errands. I got my books from my classroom, picked up a couple things from Ann Taylor Loft and successfully used that gift card that I'd been struggling with. Um, just made my return at Target and now I picked up a Starbucks. I mean today guys I really had to because if I got a Starbucks today they were going to give me 50 bonus stars because I had gone so many days consecutively in a row. So again it was like my civic duty, my, my moral duty to make a stop. So let's do a taste test. It's been a minute. This is not the vanilla sweet cream cold brew. This is just the iced coffee with vanilla pumps and sweet cream in it, like the mock vanilla sweet cream cold brew if they um, run out. Oh, we're gonna give it a 7.5. Um, I saw this TikTok yesterday and it was like, all the things influencers do and tasting your Starbucks and going was one of the things and I know I do that and I really feel like me doing that helps me to really capture the taste. But anyway, I'm getting ready to go home now, eat, and then I have a meeting at two, yeah, two o'clock with Taina and Megan, so. Hello, hello, it is Wednesday. It is just about 12.30. Um, yesterday I didn't vlog at all because quite honestly guys, and even for the rest of this week, um, yesterday I just wanted a break. I needed some quiet, a quiet day and <laughs> I wasn't going to put any eyebrows on because like my skin has just been dry there. And then, you know, I'm always self-conscious with my eyebrows when they're not like completely done and filled in. So I just needed to have some privacy yesterday. And then today I woke up and said, you might not be putting eyebrows on today while your skin continues to rehab itself. Um, that's why I say you're just going to vlog maybe without any eyebrows on, you know, everybody for the most part subscribes to this channel and makes comments is really pleasant. So I think it's just a thing I have to get over. Yes, Riley's here. I think he wants to be seen. Hi. Uh, okay. There he is. He has a doctor's appointment today. Um, but as far as what I did yesterday, I didn't do much of anything. Um, what was on my top three yesterday? My top three was I needed to respond to some emails for some collaborations I've been working on. I needed to update my iPad. I didn't do that. There's something I have to do with T-Mobile and my iPad so that the iPad can continue to work. And I had to submit some stuff. And that's really <laughs> all that I did um, and I watched the JLo documentary last night while I ate dinner which I mean it was good it was just interesting to kind of hear her talk about her life in a little bit more detail um, I don't think that I found out anything earth-shattering about JLo that I didn't know before um, and that's it and so here we are on Wednesday I woke up this morning I'm trying to keep myself on some kind of a schedule let me put you guys down here like with the top let me move you back with the top three thing just so that my days have structure so I have the top three thing which are the three things I need to accomplish during the course of the day um, and then also just making sure that I am out of the bed by nine o'clock are these packages mine hmm 
Making sure I'm up out of the, Riley, out of the Riley, out of the bed by nine. Which I would wake up by nine, but I would like meander in the bed and like roll out nine thirty. Like it was just getting out of control. Um, and so I did that. I worked out, and I just got back from returning something from Target. I bought a tool to fix my sink. I bought the wrong tool. Oh my god, Riley. Riley, it's okay. And then I went to the grocery store because we're gonna celebrate Father's Day on Saturday at my brother's house because I will be flying out for this conference on Sunday. Um, and so I'm gonna try and make baked beans. So I want, to get, I want to get the things for that. So I'm gonna show you that and then I'm gonna shower and eat. And what I'm going to eat is I got this little Sushi meal from Stater Brothers, which is the grocery store I went to. I've just been craving sushi lately, and I don't want to spend like restaurant prices <laughs> right now just for a little taste of it. So I bought this. I've never had it from the grocery store before, so hopefully it's good. Um, we put this in the fridge. So there's that. And then I bought some eggs, just because I always eat eggs since I have breakfast. I bought some more fruit. This time I bought pineapples instead of uh, mango. For the baked bean recipe, I'm using a Pioneer Woman recipe. So she wanted you to have a chopped green bell pepper, but I got a yellow one and an orange one because I like them better. I bought some bacon for the baked beans, but then I also bought some bacon just for breakfast. It was on sale. Bacon is extremely expensive now. I think. Those two packs were $6.99 each. <laughs> um, yeah. Then for the recipe, also you need some Dijon mustard, some barbecue sauce, and I think what I'll do is I'll put it together on Friday and share that process with you guys. I'll put it together, but I probably won't bake it until Saturday. Um, these green beans are not for the baked beans. This is a replacement produce item for one of my Green Chef meals because those green beans went bad. I got some more watermelon. Um, I got some red onions instead of white onions for the baked beans recipe. You needed distilled vinegar or cider vinegar, so I got apple cider vinegar. And then you needed three 28 ounce cans of pork and beans. Like this is where me, the somewhat uneducated cook gets confused because the recipe said three 20 ounce cans of pork and beans. So I'm like, do I need to find a can that specifically says pork and beans? Or am I just to assume that the different flavor variations of baked beans are pork and beans? That's what I'm assuming because they had a can that said vegetarian. So I'm assuming that if there's a can that says vegetarian, that these must be pork and beans, even though they had different flavors. I don't know that for sure though. I feel like that's something I should know at this age, but I don't. Um, so yeah, that's all I got. So I'm gonna take a shower. My mom is coming over a little bit later to take Riley to his vet appointment because remember technically Riley is my mother's dog and he's just been staying with me for a while. Um, and then what's on my top three today? Did I say I needed to, I need to, I need to update my iPad. I need to do what I was supposed to do yesterday. I didn't, that was one of the top three things that I didn't do yesterday. I need to call T-Mobile to see what exactly I need to do to make sure my iPad is still gonna work. I need to go ahead and set up auto pay for my mortgage with my new mortgage company. And I need to do a little bit of history research. So I bought some books yesterday at Barnes and Noble that is gonna kind of help me with that process. And that's it. That's what's on my top three. Oh, and I kind of want to look and see if, oh, I was supposed to do that before I went to Target to see if I need any sort of travel size items. I don't think that I do, but we'll see. So yeah, um, shower, eat. Uh, I might check in with you at lunch to let you know how that little sushi roll is, and then uh, we'll go from there. So, hey, I'm outside with Riley. Somewhere over here. Potting. My mom is here. She's getting ready to take him to the vet. 
not the vet, the groomer. And I'm gonna try and show you the little car seat I bought for him that my mom is gonna use for the first time. But first he has to take care of his business. Hold on. Did you Riley in his car seat? <laughs> Looks like this. I got it from Amazon. He can see it's his first ride, so my mom, she's gonna let us know how it goes. Right, Ryle? That's pretty good. It gets the job done. I mean, for nine dollars. Those are the first you made from the yeah, front counter. Mm -hmm. I only jumped on camera to do that. <laughs> It's pretty good. It is now a little bit after 10 o'clock. One of my rules for having these structured days is to come upstairs by 10 o'clock. I can't remember if I've mentioned this before. I don't necessarily go to bed. I probably don't end up turning the lights out and like going to bed until like somewhere between midnight and one o'clock. But the reason, Riley is really going through it right now. The reason that I wanna do that is because I wanna make sure that I have time to read and speaking of which here's an update on the book that I got last week called book lovers um, how many pages have I read I haven't read as voraciously as I was reading the other book I'm about 130 pages in and to be honest it took me a minute to kind of get into it I didn't read it or I haven't been reading it I should say as fast as the other book I had and I couldn't figure out why until just now when I was thinking about what I was going to say to you guys. And I think the reason for that, let's see if I can put you on this because my arm is already exhausted. Hmm. Hold on. I think the reason for that is the last book that I read, which was titled, oh gosh, um, which was titled by the book was very lighthearted, but it wasn't like super complicated anyway. Like the language wasn't complicated. Um, it wasn't extremely like witty writing. So there wasn't a lot of brain power that I needed to use. Whereas not that this one is like reading a textbook, but it's a little bit more sophisticated in the writing. And it's a little bit more um, witty in terms of how the characters interact with each other. So it, I think like I just don't read it as quickly. And that's not a bad thing, it's just like, it's different, but I'm enjoying it. I think last night I really started to get into it a little bit more. Um, so I try and make sure I'm upstairs by 10 o'clock so I have plenty of time to read. So that's why I'm up here. And I also wanted to make sure to show you Riley. Come into the light, honey bun. Come here. Come show him your little cut. And how handsome you are, bunny bear. He got a little cut. He's looking so cute, huh, Rue? So he can stay cool. During the summertime, uh, bunny boy. Um, so I want to show you that. I also realized I didn't show you what I got when I went to Ann Taylor Loft. Not yesterday, but the day before. So I'm going to show that to you. And then I will also show you my skirt from Target that just came in. And then I'm going to say goodbye for the day. So I got from Ann Taylor Loft these printed wide leg pants here. These are kind of like on clearance, I think. And I'm glad I went into the store to try these in because even though they are wide leg, which I interpret to mean it's made for people with a thicker thigh, I still had to size up in these because... <laughs> Uh, I think we have different def definitions of what wide leg is. So I got these and then I also got a pair of white leg pants and this like chambray color here. I'm not doing the best job of showing you, but it's just a solid colored pant. So I got that and then I got this dress. It is a shirt dress. I primarily bought it because dresses are necessary in August here in Southern California and I don't have anything in this color. So that was a definitely a definite get. And all these things, these three things here were at least 30% off. This I think was a little bit more off. And I also found it odd that this was cheaper in the store than had I bought them online. And then these last two things are the items that I'm keeping from the Tabitha Brown collection at Target. Um, this is the skirt to the top that I showed you that I was returning. So I'm keeping that. 
And then this is what came in the mail today, this green skirt that I just really like because it's very summery. It's, it's longer than what I thought, but I like it anyway. I put it on and I just feel like when I put that on during the school year, I'm just gonna be sashaying around town. Like I felt very like summery in it. So that is it. Um, nothing else happened today. Riley got groomed. I did a little reading, researching for history. The sushi was pretty good for $8, I mean. And that's it. And I was brave and I vlogged today without my eyebrows filled in at all because I need to heal my skin. So I'm going to go to bed. Well, no. I'm going to shower and get in the bed and read. And then I might see you guys tomorrow, depending on how I feel. So we'll see. Hello, it is Friday. It's close to 11.15. I'm gonna be leaving soon. I'm meeting a friend for lunch. I won't vlog that because she does not like to be on camera. Yesterday, didn't miss anything, worked out, accomplished things on my top three list that I technically was supposed to have done before. So I did in fact get my auto pay set up for my mortgage and then I also, um, uh, contacted T-Mobile to see what I needed to do with my iPad that was not going to be serviceable by the end of the month um, which has added something to my top three list for today that I'll get to in a second and there was something else that I did that I needed to do um, but I can't remember long story short I accomplished all three things I was supposed to accomplish yesterday watch some TV, walk Riley, nothing much else. But yesterday what came in the mail are these cute little outfits that I bought for Emery for no reason besides the fact that they were cute. Um, and so I'm really excited about them. Like I literally would like to wear each of these outfits if I could. Um, and they're all from Shein. I've never ordered clothes for myself from Shein, um, but for Nanda from that One Happy Classroom, just recently had a baby and she had posted some outfits she bought from Shein for her daughter on there and as soon as I saw that I quickly went over there and bought some things especially because they're cute and they're very inexpensive I'm talking these things were like two to three dollars each which is I think perfect for a baby because babies grow out of clothes so quickly and it's cute and you don't feel like you've wasted a lot of money on something they can only wear a couple of times so I'm gonna show you the outfits and then I'll also try and quickly show you what I got um, my brother for Father's Day. So this first one, probably one of my favorites, has these little shorts here <laughs> and this little tiny tank top. Um, and I bought everything six to nine months so that she had time to grow into it. And then it also comes with a little headband here. Next up is this little one-piece jumpsuit. I love the color of this. It ties at the shoulder shoulders. It reminds me of little outfits I used to wear when I was a baby because um, I have seen pictures and my mom was really into making me wear those kinds of things. And I'm not mad at it. Next up is this cute little jumpsuit. Look at this. Uh, it all it has a little bow on the front. I don't know if you can tell, but that also comes with a little headband. Then we have this outfit here. <laughs> you know, if she wants to go for the little boho look, she can wear that. That also came with a headband. Then we have these, and at first, some of these, because the material of some of these is so different than what I'm used to for baby clothes. I thought I had accidentally bought like swimsuits, but I didn't. Like it's just like a lighter material, like material you would wear if you were an adult, but just for babies, which I think is cool in a way because babies could wear different kind of materials also. So that came with a headband as well. I don't know if she'll, she'll wear the headbands because my brother's wife said last week, she didn't want to put headbands on her because she likes Emery's hair. Like Emery has a lot of hair. And a lot of times people put bows on baby girl's head so that people know that it's a girl if they don't have a lot of hair. So we'll see. Um, then next is this little jumpsuit. It also has a little bow at the front. Um, this like, um, hello, spring, summer is here. And then this, look at that 
so cute. This, uh-huh, uh-huh, little ruffles. And this one, I had to call my sister on this one because I was like, this is, it's too much. And then this little, <laughs> these little shorts here, okay, with this little top. Uh, look at this. <laughs> and a headband. So I got her about, no, I got her 10 outfits. I spent with shipping and everything, it came to like $50, so very inexpensive. I told my brother at this point, Emery needs like a brand deal with Shein because this could just be the start of who knows what. So I'm gonna take them down to them tomorrow because we're gonna celebrate Father's Day tomorrow because I will be flying out to New Mexico on Sunday for um, this culturally responsive teaching conference. And speaking of that, I'll show you what I got my brother for Father's Day because by the time this goes up, he will have gotten it and he doesn't watch really my videos anyway. Um, but I, I don't plan on getting my brother something every year for Father's Day because I just don't think that's necessary. <laughs> um, but it's his first Father's Day, so I wanted to get him something. So I found him a card. I will say there is not a very large market for first day Father's Day cards. Um, this is one of two that I found at Target. There were only two, there was this one, and the other one was geared towards a wife, and so I had to just get that one. And then I just bought him books that I am hoping he will read with Emery that are specifically made for fathers and daughters. So this one is called Always Daddy's Princess, just a little board book. This is actually longer than I thought. It takes it from the day this character's daughter is born all the way until she gets married and has a daughter of her own. And then this one is called Why a Daughter Needs a Dad. And it talks about why a daughter needs a dad. And it's all told from, or the images are all of animals, which I kind of like because it's not ethnically specific in any kind of way. And then I also bought this book for Emery. I don't even know how many books I've bought for her at this point, which is called Dear Girl. And it's all about, you know, embracing yourself and everything about you. It says a celebration of a wonderful, smart, beautiful you. So I bought her this as well. So that is what I have spent my money on these past couple of days. I will be giving those things to them tomorrow. Um, I'm off to lunch right now. After that, I need to go to T-Mobile to pick up the new iPad. So it's nothing that I had to do with my current iPad. It's like my iPad is so old that it's not even compatible with anything. So they're replacing it with a newer version free of charge to me. I then have to go to Target to get a couple of travel size items. Like I need a travel size toothpaste and a travel size Vaseline and maybe some snacks to pack in my little carry-on. And um, something else I need to do. Oh, I need to go to, I need to go to Home Depot uh, to get a piece for the sink. And I just hate going to Home Depot or anything like that. I have nothing but hate for it. I don't know my way around there. It's like people don't really want to help you. So they're like avoiding making eye contact. So I have to do that. Um, and that's it. Aside from me going to lunch right now, I went to Orange Theory this morning as well at 8.45. Uh, and later today I need to prep the baked beans. Those are my big things to do and kind of get my clothes ready for my flight on Sunday because I will be out most of the day tomorrow So at my brother's house. So let me get going. I don't want to be late. It is now about 5.15. I've been home probably for 45 minutes or so. My brunch slash lunch date went really well. We were there for a few hours. And then after that, I went and ran my errands. I went to Home Depot. I think I got the piece that I need. I just went in and found someone right away and said, I need this thing here. I'd show it to you, but it's in my purse somewhere. Basically, it's like the little thing that goes here that filters the water for a few weeks during the end of the school year, when I would turn that sink on, there would be like no water coming out of the main faucet. If I use a little spray gun, it would work, but um, it was getting progressively worse and worse. So by the time the end of last week came, it was literally like a drop of water would come out. So my dad came earlier 
and unscrew it. The original piece was there and just said you need to get a replacement of that because it seems to be clogged. So that's what I got at Home Depot. Then I had to go to Target to get the travel size items that I need. I did that and bought a couple bags of like popcorn for snacks on the plane and just in general. And then I went to T-Mobile to what I thought I was just gonna walk in there and pick up an iPad because that is how the representative made it sound like, made it sound like just walk into a T-Mobile and your information's in the system. And I went to the T-Mobile by my house and I was uh, underwhelmed by the customer service there. I walked in, told her what I was there to do and she was like, we don't have iPads here. And she literally just said it like that, like we don't have them. And so then I thought, maybe she doesn't understand what I'm saying. Like, I'm supposed to pick up a replacement. I'm not trying to buy a new iPad. I'm just trying to replace the one that I have and try to explain to her the situation. She's like, yeah, I know, we don't have iPads here. And so I was like, okay, you don't have them here right now or you do not carry iPads here. She's like, um, we just don't have it in inventory right now and it's kind of hard to know. And I said, where would I go to get one? Um, you would just have to like call around. We don't have any way of knowing other stores inventory. Which I understand the information is probably correct. Excuse me. Um, but it's the tone. It's the lack of trying to help. It's the facial expression she was giving me that I didn't like. On top of the fact that I'm frustrated with the person that was helping me through the chat session where I was getting all this taken care of yesterday because I specifically asked, is there anything I need to do in particular or bring at no point that they say it's your responsibility to find a T-Mobile that has iPads in stock. Um, and I find that to be ridiculous. Like, I just don't think that's something I should be doing. Like, I feel like they should just mail me whatever version of the iPad that I need. Maybe I'm being a high maintenance customer, but I was really put off by the attitude on top of the fact that by that point I had a really bad headache. So my patience was a thin. So I left. I saw my old iPad. I'm going to be messaging T-Mobile at some point tonight, maybe tomorrow to get that figured out because I have until the end of the month before my current iPad that I'm using right now. The one that's been with me since I don't know when. The one that I vlogged in the car from. That will not be working by the end of this month because it it's so old that they don't support it. And then after that debacle um, in T-Mobile, I obviously justified my trip to Starbucks because I felt like I deserved it at that point. So that's what that is. So right now what I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to, I think, just prep everything for the baked beans. I don't think I'm gonna put it in the oven until tomorrow. It's a Pioneer Woman recipe. I think it's called like the best baked beans ever. They better be and it the prep time is 25 minutes cook time two hours and then these are the ingredients eight slices of bacon halved one medium onion chopped i got chopped i got the red onions i showed you guys that i have a medium green bell pepper or green pepper sorry um i got yellow and orange instead three cans of pork and beans some barbecue sauce some brown sugar distilled vinegar and dry mustard Dijon. So I bought all that. And so here are the directions. It looks pretty straightforward. Um, so I'm going to do that now and try and document some of that. And then after that, I'm probably going to walk Riley. I was going to maybe iron my clothes and get everything packed for this trip to Santa Fe, but I don't think I'm going to do that today because I have other things that I need to take care of. But um, before I start cooking, I will show you, because I was gonna do it today and show you just, I'm in a new location. <laughs> I was talking and then I lost my train of thought. I think what I was gonna say is I was intending to get everything packed up today, because I thought that might be something you guys wanna see in a vlog, but it's not gonna happen. But I can show you that I just have things laid out. I know that I'm gonna travel in this outfit because I wanna be comfortable. The flight is not that long. I'm just going to Santa Fe, New Mexico. And then this is what I intend to bring for the most part. Clothes. My books are here. I'm going to bring my laptop and pack that in that backpack. I really try to just be minimal with shoes, but I couldn't make it happen. Um, and on Tuesday, I think they want us to wear a shirt that represents where we are right now, our, our thought process. So I'm, I picked this one. 
that I bought from Target a couple years ago that says use your power to empower because I do believe that that's what we need to be doing as teachers because we do have some degree of power. And I think what I wanted to show you were these cute little toiletry bags. I think I mentioned them before, but these are the toiletry bags that I got from Finland. I think I mentioned this in the last last vlog because I was talking about how they matched my suitcases. And what I like about it is that this is a specific Finnish designer. And I think it is, I don't remember how to pronounce this. I wanna say it's Mari Meko. And I had never heard of her before, but it was pretty prominent when we went to Finland. Um, and they had some cute stuff in there, like very bold prints and colors. So I bought two of them. This one I use for toiletries and there's some in there already. And then this one I use for makeup. And I love it because it matches my black and white suitcase. I'm probably going to take the smallest one there. And then um, that's from away. And then I'm going to take this backpack as well. This backpack was with me in Finland and this was also from away luggage as well. So, I mean, if you had any interest on what my packing process was going to be, you got a little look into that. Come on, Ru. <laughs> um, so now I'm gonna go downstairs and cook. I think the first thing that I'm supposed to do according to this recipe is to <laughs> cook the bacon in a frying pan which I hate doing. I just, for some reason, I hate putting bacon in a pan. So, first steps are adjust oven rack to lower middle position and heat oven at 325. I'm not gonna do that because I'm not baking it today. And then after that, fry the bacon in large deep saute pan skillet until bacon has partially cooked and release about one fourth cup of drippings, remove bacon from pan and drain on paper towel. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know that I know what I'm doing since I never fry bacon. I don't know if my eyes know the sight of what bacon looks like when it's partially cooked as opposed to fully cooked. So we're gonna try that. question for me is is this partially cooked I think so I'm gonna I'm gonna take it out I mean it's not totally cooked it's not half cooked, so I would call this partially cooked so I'm gonna take this first round out but I just hate cooking bacon it's always popping at me okay so here is my partially cooked bacon now some of it is actually just cooked and then I saved one-fourth of the drippings because that is what the recipe said and then I cut up um, a half, a total, like a quarter of an orange bell pepper, a quarter of a yellow bell pepper, because you need a half of a bell pepper chopped. And so now the next thing I'm supposed to do is to, in the same skillet, I'm gonna put the bacon drippings back in there. But in that same skillet, I'm going to add the onions, peppers, and drippings to the pan, saute until tender about five minutes. Then I add the beans and the remaining ingredients, bring it to a simmer. If the skillet is not large enough, which I know it's not going to be, add beans and heat to a simmer, then transfer to a large bowl and stir in remaining ingredients. Hmm, I think I should saying put it in a different skillet. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so the update is I took the grease out of there and decided to put everything in a pot because I knew that all of this, sorry, plus three cans of beans was not gonna fit in that skillet and that was just going to be a mess. So I'm putting it in a pot and taking care of it that way. Um, I was supposed to put in one medium diced onion. I just Googled it to see how many ounces of chopped diced onion is that. It said about 16, which is approximately what I have in there. So this is gonna cook for five minutes. So I'm gonna set the timer. And then we're gonna add in the beans. So 
these have cooked for five minutes. Now I'm gonna add all these ingredients in. I believe that this is three fourths of a cup of barbecue sauce. And I will get the extra out in just a second when I have two hands free. This is one fourth of a cup of apple cider vinegar. This is a half a cup of brown sugar. This is one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, but I need to put another one in there. And I will in just a second when I put the camera down. And then the three cans of beans. There's no way this would have fit in that pan. Ooh. Don't do what I just did. So I'm gonna stir, I'm gonna put you guys down, stir this all in. gonna stir all this in and then once it is brought to a simmer I believe that I'm done for today because then after that is when you are baking it so I want to make sure I get all the barbecue sauce and then I need one more tablespoon of this mustard I don't know what skillet would have fit all this. Maybe I just don't know my skillets, but there's no way. Ain't no way. Okay, so I'm gonna stir all this in. Wait, I think I also add the bacon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh no, the bacon is a topping. Okay. So I, I guess I could have made the bacon <laughs> tomorrow. Live and learn. So here is the mixture. Like, I don't know what skillet. This would not have fit in there without oozing over. So I'm just going to stir this in a little bit more. And then once I feel like it's simmering, I'm going to transfer it to a 13 by 9 pan, it says. Or similar sized, oversized pan. Then I top it with the bacon. And then I bake until the beans are bubbly and sauce consistency is like pancake syrup. And it's about two hours. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. <clears throat> I haven't decided if I'm going to do that. <coughs> Excuse me, here. No, I'm going to do it here. I just got barbecue sauce in my pants. Because that would mean I'd have to go to my brother's house like two hours early tomorrow. And I know that they kind of want quiet time with the baby and getting themselves together. So I will wake up in the morning and put that in the oven and bake it. The only anxiety I will have is transferring baked beans in my new cute little car blanca. But... I'll be putting blankets down and put it in the back. So, um, yeah, I'm going to clean up the kitchen. I've made a mess. I don't think that there's anything else that I was going to show you today. Once this is done and it cools off, I'm going to take Riley out. I'll probably do a little tinkering around on my laptop and stuff like that. But that's really it. Um, if you enjoyed this week's vlog, give this a thumbs up. If you are a father and you're watching this, just before Father's Day, which is going to be Sunday. Happy Father's Day. Um, if it's not Father's Day <laughs> when you're watching this, I hope you're having a great day. But if you enjoyed this vlog, give this vlog a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you are not following me on Instagram or TikTok, please follow me over there. Um, if you'd like to leave a comment, please do that. All of that kind of interaction and engagement helps my channel if you want to support me in that way. But as always, I hope that you guys are well not simmering yet and if you're not well please be well i will definitely try and vlog next week during the conference i just don't know what that's going to look like the lighting is really weird because the sun um i will be in new mexico sunday monday tuesday and then i fly out on wednesday i don't really know the structure of the day and what it's going to be like um so i'll try and vlog if nothing else like if worse came to worse i feel like i want to try and at least debrief the day and talk about what we learned because this is topics of conversation and information that I think is important for all teachers to hear and I know a lot of teachers the vast majority of my viewers are teachers and so of course I want to share that information with you guys um so yeah 
um, but I can't make any promises because I just don't know what it's gonna be like, but I will try my best. But as always, I hope that you're not, <laughs> almost said as always, I hope that you're not well. That's not true. As always, I hope that you are well, and if you are not well, please be well, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Good night. Or bye. <laughs>